everyone, welcome back to the um, charity build for the Make Wish Foundation. Um, so we had some bits turn up. We had a piston turn up uh, in the mail this week. So we're gonna swap the piston over. I'll show you how to put the rings in this and put them in the right order. Um, and then we'll slide the cylinder down, um, put the head on. I'll just show you how the gaskets and everything goes. And then we'll, um, I'll just run through with tensioning up the head uh, with the torque settings as well. Um, we won't put the camera or anything in because that will be uh, later on when we do the cam chain kit on this one, which is what we have to do. So, um, first off, we're going to get this piston off now. Gudge and pin goes through. There's a little clip like this, and that sits on the side of the piston here. There's a little rebate at the bottom of the piston. I'll show you. I might unwrap this one, I might make it a bit easier to see. So you can see on our new piston, see this little bit here? We'll check out. You get a screwdriver in there and then flick out this ring. Just be careful that it doesn't flick out and go across the room. I always put my thumb sort of over it as I, I flick it out so it doesn't go too far. Um, we'll be replacing these clips with a new style. It's connected to an old one. That sort of guy. So, um, yeah, we'll put them in. So I've actually taken those two out already just to get them out. They can be a bit fiddly. Um, and then we just have to push our, our gudgeon pin out. So I use this a lot. Um, it's the screwdriver with the head cut off it. It just it doesn't scratch anything too much. I find it really useful, this sort of stuff. All right, so that gudgeon pin's popped out. Um, with the piston kit, get a new one so we won't be reusing that put that stuff out of the way okay so that should be ready to come off now so that's out it was probably easier to show you the wear and stuff and the reason we're replacing it see any you can see the wear there and the score marks um and it's done its it's done its job. It's um probably had a hard life going up down a million miles an hour this thing. So it's hard to believe that that little guy can get us going to almost 80 k's an hour on a good day. Um so when I've got this out I like to just check this for play. Um just make sure there's not more, more it will Ideally, it shouldn't move side to side much. There should be hardly any play at all. It's got a tiny bit. It's the up and down play this way. Um, and there's none in that. So, um, as I say, when it was running, it was, it was running quite good. So, um, all the noise basically was coming from the cam chain. Um, the reason I know that as well, which confirms it, is I've cleaned up the bottom of the head, so but I took this so it was all black. We just cleaned it up, just so that they've got a good seal of a gasket, clean the valves up, um, just check all their their condition. But when I did that, you can see in there, it's like train tracks running through there. That's where the cam chain's actually been rubbing on the casing because it's just been flapping around so much. It's been, it's actually, worn a groove, two grooves in there, so um, it's been flapping around for a while. Okay, so we're gonna get this piston on. So, we're gonna get our rings on first. I might sort of edit a bit of this out because it might take a bit too long, but we'll see how we go. In the kit, you get two thin, thinner rings, okay? And then you get this guy, and if you know anything about engines, you're gonna know what that is, but some people don't. So that is the oil ring. Um, so it has one of these thin ones, top and bottom of it, and that goes in between. Okay, so we're gonna put the rings on here. Um, 
I did start doing it before in the video, but I put it the wrong way and I forgot. Um, so this oil ring, on the back of it, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I'm trying to get that to focus. Anyway, on the inside of it, it's, a, it's wider and there's a step down. So that it actually sits in behind those um, thinner oil rings, the thinner rings, top and bottom of it. So this goes in first, and then those thinner ones come in afterwards, top and bottom, um, and they sort of help hold this in. So I just before I put it on, I put the other bottom ring in first. So what I did was I just stood it down a bit there, get this one in, get it right, sitting in nice and flush. And then I'm gonna slide him up. If I drop that upside down, should come in. Okay, so that's in. I flick him up the other way, and the other thin ring comes down from the top. So I do make mistakes, we all make mistakes. So that's good. The other thing is you don't want the opening of the rings to be um, right on top of each other. So you always try and spin the, the opening. Probably not as critical on these little oil rings here, but on the bigger rings at the top. Um, always just trying to pose the two, the two joins. Um, they should be completely close when they're in the right size cylinder but um you just want to oppose them so you know one at the front one at the back now the darker ring out of the two so this one has a bit of a coating on it but the, the actual edge of it's silver and this one's black sort of carbon one so the black one is your center one and if you can see on them it's a very tiny I don't know how much of this you can see you can see that mark there, that smudgy bit that's not focused on, that's a, a little letter R. So they go to the top. So if these ones are a little bit heavier, these ones break easily, this, these center carbon ones. So I'm very careful. I've been trying to finish the build off before and it's not one of these guys. Which was not fun. Okay, so he's happy in, in where he wants to be. And then we just repeat the process on this one. This one has a little R on there as well. Goes to the top. Okay. So they're all in. Um, you have to get slide them over the cylinder. So what I'm gonna do is just put this this back in. Um, Get the gudgeon pin through and put the center clips in so i'll just turn the video off for a while you don't really need to see how to you basically unwrap this put it in slide it in put the clips in reverse of how we do it i'll come back just as i'm putting the last clip in okay, we'll that is in now i put the gudgeon pin in i'll put the little clips uh, clips at the end so the other thing that i didn't mention when i was putting this in it's sort of important as well is that the piston actually has a top and a bottom um it has in written, the word in written on the top of it, and that is for the inlet side. Um, so when the engine's on, the inlet side is at the top, exhaust is at the bottom. So um, just make sure that you have that in facing up the top. So I put it in, I get all my rings in as we said. I've got the gasket here for the bottom. I've got the cam chain in at the moment. I'll just slide it back so you can see it a bit better. 
I've got the cam chain at the moment just because um, I haven't opened up the side of the motor and, and done all that side of it yet. So um, it's going to be a little bit of in the way, but I'll show you how to do it if it's there because you don't always have to take all of this apart. Um, you will have to retime it, but you don't have to take the chain out if it's not worn. So just gently lifting everything through the gasket so we don't damage the gasket. All these surfaces where the gaskets go have been um, cleaned up, you know, with a, a razor blade to get any loose old bits of gasket off and then just a little polishing mill on the drill just to, to clean them up so you get a nice, good seal. Okay, so cylinder head. One here, um, it's brand new, so there's no issues with it. What I will do, just to make it a little easier to get everything in, this is a bit of a fiddly bit. Um, a bit of patience when you do this one. So I just put some oil on my finger, and I just run the oil around inside the cylinder. Um, just so that the piston's not going into a dry cylinder. And it also helps with the, this next process, trying to get the, oil, the rings in. Um, all right, so cylinder goes this way. Obviously this opening goes where the cam chain comes through. I'm not gonna worry about the cam chain. Um, actually, I might put it through. It's gonna be a bit of fiddling getting the, the piston in. And once it's in, I don't want to be pulling it back out to get this cam chain in. So I'm going to slide him through and get my fingers in there. I might just put a screwdriver or something through the top. You can't see what I'm doing. Put a screwdriver through, got the cam chain, just so that it doesn't drop through um, when I'm playing with it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to basically put this in and I'll make sure my rings aren't what I was talking about before with the, the opening of the rings. I'm just opposing them now to make sure that they're on opposite sides. And what I do is I just squeeze the ring together. Trying to do this on a different angle than I normally do, just so you can see it. But yeah, I've got that. So I've got it down past the first one now. So now I'm just coming down to my second ring. I'm gonna squeeze him up. Got him in. Make sure that the piston's square. Now I'm going to spin this around because I <laughs> left down and it's easier to do it the other way. Um, you won't be able to see it, but basically I'm just compressing those um, rings without damaging them and then gently sliding this over. You will get it, it will take a bit of fiddling. It's not um, too hard. You just sort of have to keep working around, taking your time and make sure you don't spin your rings around at the same time. So I'll just turn it off because it's not great viewing, but I'll turn 